What's up guys? I made it here to camp. Zelda, stay close. Come on up. So I gotta keep her close because there's a leash rule here and there are park rangers. Um, I do have people camping at the next camp over, but it's not so close to where I have to listen to them or party or anything. I think people come out here to be away. I'm gonna have to put her on a leash. So um, yeah, there's that. Sweet. Let's grab our stuff. Let's start this bed. So, I almost forgot. Got a christen. These aren't the greatest. They're not bad. I like coconut. Oh, the bugs are horrible. These are gnats. We'll call this gnatsville. Jesus. All right. I'm going to spray my permethrin, too. Let's try it. Bottoms up. I like coconut, but I don't know if I like this. It reminds me of suntan lotion. Alright, well, oh, gnats. Alright, I gotta get my permethrin out. Better change another time. You have to be on the leash. Rules are rules. Alright, I left this outside all day long. It's a cheap Coleman. Still got plenty of ice. Alright, it says a minimum of, a minimum, a maximum of a six foot leash required. So I'm gonna put a leash on her. Zelda, come here. I know, you're not used to being leashed, because you usually hang out. You're actually a better girl than most. Good. Jeez. All right, well, a leash is on her. Good enough, right? Doesn't say I have to hold her. Oh. Stuff works wonders. It's, I like it more than DEET. It's not as bad as DEET. And it keeps everything away, so. It's gonna get super cold tonight. I'm gonna put on the rain fly, help retain a little heat. Right inside. 
if you jump in if you want, go ahead. Get stuff for me. She gets stuff for me. Gonna save our beds. Alright, I didn't get her the inflatable because she keeps destroying them. Um, at least she used to when she was a pup, but got her these. She should lay on them. It's only a couple inches thick, two maybe. Um, they're just pads for chairs, but should retain heat and fit her sleeping bag. I should, um, I should probably get her a third one and then tie them together. She likes to sleep, obviously, her butt in my face. So I'll set her sleeping bag up like that. Perfect. The ground's not the most level, so I'll switch it up a little bit. Um, my head, my head is usually near the cab um, because I have this gap here where it gets cold. So I'll find some old shirts, fill it in. Um, this time my head's gonna be this way. So I got my 30 degree sleeping bag. Um, a lot of the time if it's 30 degrees, it's not gonna be 30 degrees comfortable. The last time it was 40 degrees. I sweat my ass off in this thing. And for truck bed camping, this thing is phenomenal. So, I always had those inflatable little pillows that pack up. Um, I don't even use those for backpacking anymore. It's like 10, 15 bucks or whatever. Now I'll go this camp pillow. So I got this uh, Wise Owl camp pillow. This thing is amazing. I love this thing. So my sleep pad has a, just a slight little lump for where a pillow would go. Put this on there. Perfect. I feel like somebody should shoot me. Um, I forgot my coffee. God damn it. I could have grabbed some from work. I don't think I have any coffee. What are you digging over there? She's digging. Check it out. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy? <laughs> you, you love it. Did you find what you're looking for? Do you want the ball? <laughs> Wait. Hey. Hey. Yeah, she knows what a ball is. Bring it over here. Oh, sorry, here. <laughs> Good catch. Good catch. gonna sound weird it's gonna sound really weird but so a little bit of olive oil a lot of people use butter I have some pork rinds so what I'll do is I'll crush up some pork rinds I'm not gonna get any like fat off of it but it helps season it and then I like to do a little bit of Thai chilies don't touch your dick after this Dried Thai chili. You can go buy this at an Asian market or whatever. I like to make my beef jerky out of it. So I'll do two of that. And then it's going to sound weird, but try it as I get the Alabama barbecue seasoning. Fire! Fire! Keep it down. You don't want to have uh, a lot of fire if you're going to have a lot of wind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, 
the seasoning going? Do I need more? Yeah, just a little bit. These nuts are horrible, so. They're absolutely horrible creatures. All right, I got all these, got all these. I got these, the Mexican market. A little salsa. Two cans of salsa, I did not. Wait, what? Okay. Tomato sauce, this is gonna be not your normal. I mean, all some pre-done tortellinis. Um, I could not find some of the cheeses I lost this morning. I could not find the tomato sauce I bought. So I have those. Oh my God. All right, get in the fire, get in the smoke, 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 help me. Oh my God, look what you did. We're gonna wash this before you leave. I have another one with a thrower because I wasn't familiar with this area. Oh, all right, yeah. Ha. Oh, good catch, bring it here. I'll throw it, I'll throw it better. I know, not a lot of room here. Drop, hey. Three fingers, you know the rules. <laughs> if she starts tearing up her feet a little bit, um, like she will, I brought her booties. So she'll have her boots on. She'll be good. I brought my hiking shoes. We're gonna go on a little hike tomorrow. Cut up some of these. These are just hot links. And I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have some of this left over for breakfast, so. So, oil is really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding these into the seasoning and the, oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect, um, and the sausages. Oh yeah, I knew I heard it, I knew I heard it. Oh my god, it smells phenomenal. That was a lot of oil. Stay, come here. Let's get that boiling. Just being kind of nice. I'm not putting that on yet. Four cheese, baby. Yeah. Right. Right. So 
four cheese tortellini, sauce, piece of sausage, cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a fat kid, so I know what good is. I'm gonna switch into my, my pajamas. Um, I'm gonna let the rest of the fire go out. Um, and then I'm gonna go in the tent and I'm gonna start a movie. Should be a good night. Over here. Look at your, the rest of your sleeping bag. Ready? Oh. <laughs> here. Good girl, that's yours. It's yours. Yeah. Brand new pad and everything. So comfy and soft. Oh. Hang this up. It's nice in here. It's nice in here. I went ahead and swapped over to the other side. But I am watching. Ant Man and Wasp. I can't believe I haven't seen them before. Pretty good. So far. All eight minutes of it or whatever. The movie's not quite over. It's just around 9.37. I'm just getting tired, so. I'm going to cut the movie a little short and oh, get some sleep. Get up in the morning, make breakfast, and uh, go check out all those ruins. So those are ready. Out. She's exhausted. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning. Could have had a little bit better night. I was able to stop it. Roll around a lot. My typical every noise. Zelda would wake me up, and then. Uh, the uh, sleeping bag I had. I was sweating my ass off. Fuck. And then, you know, because it's cold to the point where I couldn't uh, stay out of the sleeping bag. So there's this non stop opening and closing of the sleeping bag. So, uh, well, I'm going to open up the tent and. Zelda and I are going to go pee and we'll probably crawl back in here because it's cold outside. <laughs> hang on, hang on. All right. <clears throat> Morning, y'all. So, whew, it's cold out here. Uh, I had to get up and go pee and let Zelda out because she's being annoying. So, I'll put, I'll put on my pants and... Uh, See if I can scrounge up something for some hot coffee. All right, this wind chill is no joke. It's cold, and I've been in colder, but the wind makes it freezing. <clears throat> um, no luck so far. I haven't found any coffee. I kind of want some coffee, but I don't know I'm saving that beer for breakfast, but eh, I really want coffee. Um, I might have some tea. I'll have to look again. I think I brought it all home. <clears throat> Other than that, it's freezing. So, I still got to put on my pants. <clears throat> and I'll start packing up some stuff. Um, and then we'll start uh, trekking over to the ruins. Go check them out. You got a stick? <laughs> yeah, you need a stick? Yeah. How happy are you to be outside of the tent? She doesn't like the noise of the, uh, the wind on the tent. Justify that if I may. Alright, so. Uh, there are 
I'm just listening to this podcast and put my stuff up. So my sleeping bag, I don't have a outer thing for it. I don't think I can fit it in here. I'm gonna try to fit it in here. Of course. Make sure to hold on to the trash bag. Get over here. Alright, so me and Zelda are gonna check out these ruins. Um, I only have my 24 on, so there's no zoom. Zelda, get over here. So, I gotta put her on a leash. Um, go check some of these things out. Due to the structural integrity of the ruins, safety concerns entering the building is prohibited. Please stay on the trails. Efforts are underway to restore the ruins in a condition of structural safety and historic accuracy. Who's going inside of these things? Left. Walk around it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can see where the wind and sand has eroded away at things. No known photograph of Churchill from his period exists today. Knowledge of the fort's physical aspect is limited to written descriptions and lithographic drawings. I don't know if I said that right. A drawing shown here depicting adobe buildings. Okay, so this is a drawing of what the fort looked like when it was operational. Neat. Alright, well, it was kind of neat to see the ruins get some stuff. The wind is just crazy so I didn't get much footage I wanted plus I had to keep Zelda on a leash I didn't bring my steady cam or any of that stuff so it says all dogs have to be on leashes around there and especially because there's rattlesnakes these people came over to the archaeological site archaeological site with all this just to let their dog run and go to the bathroom so that's kind of crazy so they're just letting their dog run and they're not so they're running around letting their dog shit in this thing. And the other white people. Yeah, the dog's having a grand old time, but it says an archaeological archaeological resource center with all these old historical buildings that they don't want you to touch because they're all, you know, old history from the 1800s and they're letting their dog run around shit in them. Terrible. There's some people leaving already. They got here after me. I'm not the first out. It's uh, only 8.25 in the morning. Me and Zelda here. 